What's up? Welcome back. Cool Girl here to show you how to get this unzipped zipper face look. For as long as I've been doing special effects makeup, people have been sending this look to me every Halloween going, I bet you'd be awesome at this. So I decided to finally give it a try. And this is kind of the finished product, what I came up with. If you want to see how to get it, keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> First thing you want to do is get your zipper out. This is one I got from Walmart, I think for less than two bucks. And to start with, I'm just going to go through and trim away some of this excess on the sides. Just kind of see here how much I've trimmed off, about half of it. Now I have something like this that will be much easier to glue down to my face. Or I am going to be going with a new product that I just got and it's called Prosade. It's a medical grade adhesive that you do have to have a special remover to get it off I have found. Luckily I did buy the remover when I bought the adhesive. I'm just using a cotton swab. I am taking the Prosade and putting it on the back of the zipper where the cloth is. Okay, and now that I have the back of this saturated, I'm going to go ahead and start placing it. You don't want to get too close to the eye area. You need to leave yourself some blending room. And once your adhesives get tacky, just kind of place the zipper where you want it. And make sure everything is kind of dry and going to stay in place before you continue on. Now to start trying to cover up these seams a little bit. You can use the latex and tissue method to cover the edge of the seams and blend those out, but I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to use a spirit gum and a nose and scar wax. This one's from Ben Nye. So putting the spirit gum down first, we'll just give a little something extra for the wax to adhere to. And do be very careful around your eyes with any product like this. Okay, now I'm going to start dipping into this nose and scar wax. I'm just going to take my spatula, get out just a little bit at a time. And to keep the nose and scar wax from sticking to your fingers, you can put just a little makeup remover or lotion on them. I'm just going to roll this out till it's in a little oblong shape. Just kind of press it in. And now that I have all the nose and scar wax kind of laid on top of where the zipper is, or the edge of the zipper, I'm just going to kind of go in with my spatula and smooth and even things out a bit. Okay, now that I have the scar wax kind of blended out beside the zipper, I'm going to use a little bit of makeup remover on my fingertip, if I can not dump it everywhere, just to kind of further smooth that out into the skin. That was a process and a half. Now that I have the nose and scar wax kind of blended out the way I want, I want to go in and put some texture into it, some skin-like texture. And for that, this is a piece of a natural sponge, a uh, craft sponge, anything like that. I think it's where I found it. It's in the craft section. And you just want to take and kind of push it in to the wax. 
don't know how well you can see that, but it definitely does put in some texture to it. So when we start painting over it and blending it in with our foundation. Okay, now that I have the texture in place, I'm going to go in with this. This is Fixative A. It's kind of a prosthetic sealer that you can put over prosthetics, latex prosthetics, or scar wax. It just kind of helps it accept the makeup a little better. While that continues to dry, I'm going to go around the perimeter of my face, starting with my foundation. Whatever foundation you normally use will work. And when applying the foundation, you want to be careful when you get near the wax areas. Just take a little extra time to blend it in there. Now you can go in with any setting powder that you have. Okay, now to create some texture inside where the unzipped part is, I'm taking some pieces of cotton balls and I'm going to put that in a little bit of liquid latex. Just kind of place it on the skin in various places. Alright, now that I've made a thorough mess of myself, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and kind of work on the outside of the area. And to work around the edges, I'm going in with this Skin Illustrator Palette. This is the Treeford Proud Signature Series. Like this right here. You can see what colors it has in it. And you do have to have an activator to go with that or a 99% alcohol. Acetone, 91% or 70% alcohol will not work. You have to have 99% or the special activator. And I'm just going to take a sponge and just kind of rough up the edges of it so it's not so neat. Spread a little bit of the activator on my sponge and then I'm going in with the blood tone color right here. Just put a couple of sprays in there. I'll spray a little extra in the lid. Kind of have something to mix with. This is just going to give the skin a very irritated look. I'm going to zoom you out just a little so you can kind of keep a better eye on what I'm doing. Hopefully keep me from going out of frame. This is like an alcohol product, so be sure not to get it in your eyes. You can go near them, just not in them. And spraying it really good with that activator. And then I'm just going to go back in and blend out where I got too much red. I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Aged Blood. And going in with some of the capillary color. Okay, and next I'm going into the Necromania palette, also by Skin Illustrator. And I'm going in with this color here, which is Lividity. More of a purple tone color. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge with it a little bit. And again, with the kind of blending sponge and blending that out. Now I'm going back in with just a dab of my foundation and kind of going around that perimeter again. This will just really help make it look like the colors are under this, coming from under the skin instead of sitting on top of it. Now I'm going in with a paintbrush just to do some fine detailing kind of around the zipper area and now with another paintbrush I'm going into that lev lividity color from the Necromania palette just gonna kinda 
paint around the eye. Make sure you don't get it in your eye like I just did. Kind of going around the eye area to give it a, you know, a nice bruised, irritated look. Alrighty, now to color in the inside of the zipper area, I'm going to use this Mayron Paradise palette. It's the basic one. It's a watercolor activated, and I'm going to be going in with this red color here. Now I'm going to go in with the Bruise Wheel from Ben Nye. Got four colors here, a more blood tone, a yellow mustard tone, a darker kind of aged blood tone, and a really dark, it looks black, but it's purple. I want to take just kind of a small brush and dip it into that dark purple color and just kind of work that in to the edges of the zipper. Then I'm going to use this red tone just to kind of blend that out a bit. And it's kind of the darker red tone. Okay, I'm going in with another Mayron palette. This is the Monster Wheel. I'm going to get a little bit of this white color out onto a separate palette. And to do that, I'll be using my spatula just to get a little bit out. So I don't want to dip from in here and cross-contaminate my colors. And this is just going to kind of go on the high points with that makeup. Just going back in with that brush that we used just before this to kind of further blend a little. Now going back in with the red color from this palette just to kind of kill the pink and purple tones in that a little bit, hopefully. And now for the finishing touch, stage blood. This is one from Mayron. I can get the lid off of it. So you just kind of dip it into it with a Q-tip. You don't want to put too much blood because you can ruin a makeup with blood. It's just kind of trying to get a nice moist look. And this is my finished unzipped zipper face look, whatever you want to call it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time.